All right, guys, what's going on? Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Alicam Explorer Action Camera. This is something I came across online while I was browsing for GoPro cameras. And this is either going to be one of the best investments I've ever made or the worst waste of money I've ever spent. However, for the price point and what I needed for, it was worth the purchase. And hopefully, this review will help some of you that might have been considering buying it also. So I'll be the sacrificial lamb on this one, but let's get into it. Let's open it up. Nice packaging here. You have the camera. I already opened it up so you can see it's ripped. I had to charge it for this uh, review. You have the camera on this side, accessories on this side. Let's get into the camera first. Here you go. Alicam in its waterproof container. Very similar. <laughs> it's actually shockingly similar to the GoPro. Uh, I feel like there's people over at GoPro that are not too happy about this device. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. Just looks shockingly similar. Uh, and it's waterproof casing. I think anyone would think this is a GoPro until they see the logo itself. Um, but yeah, this is where I actually, website I came across. They have these in several colors. Not very enthusiastic about how they uh, <laughs> distinguish which ones are which on their, in their factory. But I got the black one. Um, <laughs> very high-tech way of uh, managing their orders. A little disconcerting at first, but it's not that big of a deal. It's a product that counts. Uh, dare to be seems to be their big slogan when you turn the camera on. Uh, I don't know if it's dare to be using this camera because it's not <laughs> it's not necessarily a GoPro. Uh, dare to be buying it because it was so cheap. But I'll take that dare and the, the chance that this is actually a good camera. Um, also, too, this is where I bought it. This is the link. I'll put it in the description. Uh, it's a bundle that came with uh, free accessories. But, yeah, this was what I uh, scooped up. You're going to have to get the, the card separate. They have a Samsung bundle here that you could get with it. Um, wouldn't recommend it. I would just go with a 32 gig uh, sand disk is the one I bought. Uh, there is a little latch right here. Similar probably exactly like the GoPro. You hold it this way and then flick this up. It's going to open it for you. And here we go. Like I said, I already opened this. So all the stickers and everything that were on here are, are now off. Power button on the outside. This also helps you swap between menus, uh, video, slow mo, all that good stuff. OK button on top where it's very similar to the GoPro. Like I said, this is very, very close to the same thing. You got your buttons on the side, LED on the back, which I could power on for you real quick. There you go. Dare to be. That's their slogan once again. OK. We have on the side here are going to be your. USB mini, HDMI mini, and you also, or HDMI micro, I'm sorry. You have your micro SD card that goes in here as well. I bought, you have to buy it separate, it doesn't come with it. So if you don't already have one, you're going to want to buy one. Also, the one I came with came with the adapter. Uh, most computers have the regular SD adapter, um, not the mini, so the card slides in here. Definitely want to pick that up or find a card that it comes with it. Um, on the bottom here, a little disconcerting. I don't like really like the way the battery pops out, but I guess it works. And it just falls out. Not crazy about that, like I said. Uh, the battery's in here. I guess you could buy more of these online, which I'll probably buy one or two more, just because I think the, vid the video recording life on this is about two hours at 1080p, but we all know that's an over-exaggerated number. Probably shoots even less than that. Pop that back in. And now from here, let's get into the accessories it comes with. With this accessory right here, this accessory has uh, tripod mounts, top and bottom, which are always great. It allows you to put this on your camera like that. So I'm going to use this with one of my Gorillapods that I would recommend anyone buy if you have smaller cameras like this and you need to mount anything. Um, this is a great purchase. Very cheap. I spent, I think I spent like three or four bucks on it on Amazon. But when I do the next part of this video, this will come in handy. But for now, I figured, why not just use it on there? So, all of the stuff in here came uh, individually packaged. I actually took it out. I kind of, I don't know, didn't see the point in having it all individually packaged. You're going to get another waterproof mount. Uh, or waterproof case, the waterproof casing. Uh, this is a clip you'll get. It actually goes into the back of this and allows you to clip this onto um, 
goes into here like that, allows you to clip. I don't know how useful that'll be to some of you. Got your straps for your helmet, bike helmet, uh, whatever you've seen to strap it to. Some extra pads, which will come in handy. Um, these are more mounts, tripod mounts. Um, you get two of those. This is going to be for a bike. Um, and then all your typical, you know, same thing that the GoPro has. All these are actually compatible with the GoPro as well. Um, but you're going to get all these. Comes with the cloth to wipe the camera. Always very necessary. Also in the bottom here, you're going to get some uh, zip ties, which I'm sure you would use this, you know, sparingly, but it'll come in handy when you need it. And let's put some of this stuff away so we can get into the actual in the camera review. All right. So the next part of this series is going to be linking your phone, Android, or iPhone to the device that allows you to control it manually. Uh, makes it just much easier to navigate through the menus. Although it's not too bad now, which I'll kind of give you a little, a little tour of it. Okay, so in here you have your regular controls, mode button. It's going to swap between, obviously this is photo. Here goes your slow motion. This is where you do all your playbacks. This is the uh, settings menu. So from here you use the side buttons or the OK button up, up top. You're going to be able to go through your video resolution, uh, recording sound, time lapse, loop recording, slow mo. On to the next one. This one, so you can see stuff you could play between. Pretty interesting. I have mine set to 1080p for now, but go over to the next menu. Um, this is a resolution for your photos. Okay, next menu. Exposure, white balance, image rotation, all that good stuff. Typical things you see on most cameras. Um, it allows you to do it from the camera. Date and time, format. Uh, we're set to factory settings. That'll be whatever. Um, the format will be for your SD card. We're set, we're set to factory settings. will be anything on the camera itself. Um, and that's pretty much, much it. So you press OK to exit. OK, now you'll hit. There is a Wi-Fi button on the side here. You're going to want to hit on Wi-Fi. And then you'll see that LE cam pops up. Now this has been a little wonky. Uh, not horrible, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. Now we're going to go to our apps, LE cam. Again, with their dare to be. Uh, let's click on LE cam. And from here, it's pretty cool. You will get a live preview of whatever's going on with this camera. So if I turn this around, you'll be able to see. Can name it on my camera. Could name it up there at the tether, but from here I could shoot a picture and allow you to select the time. So here you could shoot anything you want, normal, time lapse, trial. Uh, I could shoot in slow motion if I'd like. Um, everything right from the phone itself, which I really, really like. Um, now let's go over to this. This will show you what's on it. Uh, right now it's empty, so you can't see anything. And then all your menu settings from your device are also going to be able to be found on the phone, which just makes things a lot easier when you're trying to make settings and change everything around. Um, but this is a really nice feature, something I really like. So what all of you need to know, what all you've been wondering, is it worth buying? Um, I guess it all depends on what you're looking to use it for. For me, I picked this camera up because I've been looking for something to get certain action shots that I couldn't necessarily get with my Nikon, which is what I'm filling on right now. Uh, the DSLR is a little bulky. I plan on using this primarily for time-lapse photos in 4K um, and also to get some action shots. So it really depends on what you're looking for. Now the audio quality, I can already tell you, probably very similar to anyone that's ever used a GoPro. You're not going to get great audio quality out of this. This is primarily for, like I said, getting different video angles. Um, and that's really it. Um, Slow-mo action shots. I mean, it's a 4K action camera, so that's pretty much where you're going to get the most use out of this. If you're looking for something to to record yourself in vlogs, this necessarily isn't the camera you want to get. They have other options out there for you. That's going to be it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will leave all the links and everything you need to see in the description. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. I'll get a look, take a look at them and answer all of them as I could. Thanks for watching. It's your boy Shah. You guys take it easy.